Hello everyone, welcome to not ours, but worldwide sales Nintendo Switch Top 10 Games list. The numbers are provided by Nintendo, we just report them and give our opinion on the games. So be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you want more videos like this one, and also be sure to check out this video on new lands in Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. Sign off in the comment section where you think that game will make it on the list by the end of the Nintendo Switch lifecycle. The system is after all about to surpass the NES and setting off its big hunt after Nintendo's most successful home console of all time, the Wii. So let's get right into it, as number 10 is New Super Mario Bros U Deluxe. We open this list with the deluxe version of Wii U's third best selling title, which on the Nintendo Switch has surpassed 7.44 million copies sold. This version of the big 2D Mario hit on the Wii U is mostly remembered for one big inclusion, Bowsette, I, I mean Peachette. And other than that, it was the same game, a solid platformer by which we personally were not too impressed by. No doubt, what brought it up to the number 10 slot is the overall popularity of 2D Mario and the new Super Mario Bros series that we saw especially during the Nintendo DS, Wii, 3DS and Wii U generations. However, for the Nintendo Switch, as you will soon see, 3D is king, as Super Mario Maker 2, despite its brilliance, didn't even make it on this list, ending up on the 12th spot, with 5.48 million copies sold as of March 31st, 2020. That is in fact even behind Luigi's Mansion 3 on the 11th spot, which missed the list with its very impressive 6.33 million copies sold as of March 31st, 2020. Still, both are in front of Zelda Link's Awakening Remake, which has surpassed 4.3 million copies sold, and that gave it the 13th spot. The competition for making it on this most prestigious list for Nintendo is still, as number 9 is Splatoon 2, with 10.71 million copies sold as of June 30th. The popularity of this game is unquestioned. Despite only debuting on the Wii U, this franchise already have grown to become one of Nintendo's biggest IPs, much thanks to its massive popularity in Japan. Improving on nearly everything found in Splatoon, Splatoon 2 is simply the best-selling shooter game on the Nintendo Switch. Its multiplayer is incredible, pun not intended, and even its story content got a massive overhaul in this one. Now we're not including the new Salmon Run mode and the absolutely great paid Octo Expansion single-player campaign. Music, gameplay, stages, shoot mechanics, and constant variety makes this game the best online Nintendo Switch experience. And that, even without voice chat during matches, which is one of its only backdrops. Splatoon 2 is just that great, and I'm not at all surprised by its surpassing 10.7 million copies sold worldwide. Number 8. Super Mario Party Who doesn't love a good party? especially when the party is fun again and the car is hopefully gone forever. That is exactly what Super Mario Party did, and that brought it up to 10.95 million copies sold worldwide as of end of June 2020. Yes, this game is still very basic Mario Party, and its by far biggest shortcoming is only having four balls. But the multiplayer value is great, the character selection impressive, number of new and returning minigames massive, the motion control minigames engaging, and all of this with the option to play online with other people around the world. Even its new mode, River Survival, had its value, so overall I can understand why it has sold that well other than the fact that it is a Mario Party game, and not only that, but the best Mario Party in over a decade. Which can't exactly be said about the next entry on this list. As number 7 is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, with 12.2 million copies sold worldwide, and it makes sense as it is Pokemon. Nostalgia infused Pokemon on that. With tailing Pokemon, their random encounters, and the solid premise of the original Pokemon adventure against Team Rocket, where the goal is to be crowned Pokemon champion by Professor Oak. Is this Pokemon game as great as the original Pokemon Yellow though? Not really, as Pokemon Let's Go despite its great visuals, is much easier and by that I mean all wild battles were removed and turned into a Pokemon Go catch them experience. No doubt, this game was made to serve as a bridge for the Pokemon Go crowd to get into the mainline series, but it at the same time infuriated the already massive Pokemon community, who were hoping for the most solid experience of Gen 1 to date. Personally I can say that it's definitely not in my top 10 Nintendo Switch games, actually far from from it. But luckily, this next entry is no other than Super Mario Odyssey, also known as the biggest Nintendo Switch exclusive in 2017. Remember that Breath of the Wild also came out on the Wii U. Super Mario Odyssey may be surprising to some at the 6th spot of best-selling Nintendo Switch games, though in this case the 6th spot means 18.06 million copies sold worldwide, right behind the next two entries on this list. But personally, I have to say that Super Mario Odyssey is simply 3D Mario perfection. 
Maybe not by its main quest alone, as that one is rather brief, but its post-game is absolutely brilliant. I'm not going to spoil anything here, as some of you may not have played this game yet, but Super Mario Odyssey is just an incredible worldwide adventure that will take you to all kinds of imaginable locations, and along the way let you capture so many enemies and play as them to advance. Inclusion of Cappy was absolutely brilliant, and I can't tell you how much I want another Odyssey on the Nintendo Switch. Hopefully we get one in the next few years as I absolutely adore this game. Time to get into the top 5 on this list. And this next one is definitely not my 5th favorite Nintendo Switch game, since the 5th best selling Nintendo Switch game is Pokemon Sword plus Pokemon Shield. Oh boy, the game that made us do brutally honest reviews on this channel. I can't tell you how mixed feelings I have about this game and, to be brutally honest with you, I got through its main quest and post game mostly to update our complete Pokemon timeline. Still. 18.2 million copies sold worldwide is very impressive and must come from something more than just being a mainline Pokemon game. Yes, it does, as the new open wild area is great and really felt like our Green of Time's Hyrule field, only bigger and filled with Pokemon to battle in the wild and max raid battles. The characters were charming, the setting of Gala, or more precisely England, glorious, the gym towns impressive, and the gyms and Pokemon League a spectacle to behold, especially thanks to its soundtrack. Presentation-wise, it felt like a Premier League experience. Sadly, the same cannot be said about some of its visuals, animations, game performance aka FPS drops, much of its non-wild area gameplay, and story-wise it was a big letdown. In other words, the game is very inconsistent and would definitely not make it into my top 10 Nintendo Switch games list. But hey, it's sales, so we know that at least one Pokemon title would make its way into the top 5 and almost surpass the next entry on this list, which is the Nintendo Switch 4 best-selling game, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Open-air gameplay perfection, that is the best way to describe this game and probably the main reason why it has surpassed 18.6 million copies on the Nintendo Switch alone. Since if we take Breath of the Wild's close to 2 million copies sold of the game on the Wii U, we would actually be on the podium since the game has totally sold over 20 million copies worldwide. Yes, it is official. But the title of this video is Nintendo Switch, so let's focus on the Nintendo Switch sales. Anyhow, this game is the best open world experience of the last decade. The way you can engage with the world of Hyrule through the game's physics engine is second to none. And the many ways of getting around like climbing, paragliding and sailing across the massive map speak for itself. Breath of the Wild revolutionized open world games. Though it felt less Zelda for some, it can't be denied that in the exploration and gameplay department, it was a massive upgrade from all past Zelda titles. The appeal and success of Breath of the Wild is indeed so massive that Nintendo had no other choice but make a direct sequel which will hopefully maintain the great leaps in gameplay and open world design which allowed us to do pretty much whatever we wanted and even intentionally break the game. While at the same time restoring the few but at the same time major shortcomings that are found in this game. Alright, we have reached the podium of 20 million plus sellers. We begin with number 3, Super Smash Bros Ultimate. Officially, as of end of June, it had sold 19.99 million copies. It is above 20 million as of early August 2020. That is easily the best selling fighting game of all time. And the ultimate Super Smash Bros game, which took everything from Super Smash Bros for Wii U and improved it to be more competitive, balanced and packed so full of content that you are spoiled by choice. The base $60 experience provides over 900 music tracks, 110 stages, 74 selectable fighters with all past Smash fighters included and where all but the original 8 from Smash 64 had to be unlocked through challenges, the brilliant classic mode and the brand new adventure mode. The World of Light, which involves a long list of solid boss battles. The customization options are next level and can turn Ultimate into exactly the Smash and fighting game experience that you desire. The paid DLC so far has been excellent, but with more to come to the end of 2021, there's really only one downside to this game, the online experience, which can be very unreliable. Still, the few shortcomings of this game pale in comparison to its brilliance, and it is no doubt on our top 10 Nintendo Switch games list of all time. Unlike the next game on this list, as it simply wasn't out by the time we uploaded our most recent list. Since shockingly to some, but not really, number 2 in terms of sales is none other than Animal Crossing New Horizons. Is this the perfect game to stay safe through 2020? If you are to ask Nintendo, yes, we're laughing all the way to the bank. Since Animal Crossing New Horizons has sold an incredible 22.4 million copies worldwide by June 30th, 2020. Let that sink in for a second. 22.4 million copies sold in a little over 3 months after its release on March 20th. That is insane and some GTA 5 sales numbers right there. 
At the same time, Animal Crossing New Horizons World Simulation is divisive as everyone agrees that the gameplay on virtual simulation and island building is great, but at the same time, the game is extremely controversial, for limiting us to one island per Nintendo Switch system and not initially offering cloud saves until the July 30th update. Now it offers cloud saves, but technically only if your Nintendo Switch is broken or stolen. Still, if you're looking for an island getaway when real life travel to exotic locations is severely limited, then there's no better option than Animal Crossing New Horizons. And if the sales pace continues, then by the time you're watching this, Animal Crossing New Horizons might have already surpassed the to this point unrivaled number one, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We already mentioned Grand Theft Auto 5 sales for Animal Crossing New Horizons, and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is literally the GTA 5 of the Nintendo Switch. Since due to its 26.74 million copies sold worldwide, it is highly unlikely that we will see any new Mario Kart installment on the Nintendo Switch, at least until we get the Switch successor in 2023 or 2024. And this shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone as Mario Kart is, is Nintendo's best-selling franchise on the most recent consoles. The original Mario Kart 8 was the best selling on the Wii U, Mario Kart 7 was the best selling game of the 3DS, Mario Kart Wii was only beaten by the bundled with the system Wii Sports, and Mario Kart DS was only surpassed by New Super Mario Bros and Nintendogs on the Nintendo DS. Now, it looks like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe will be surpassed by Animal Crossing New Horizons by the end of the Nintendo Switch lifecycle, but to its defense it's just Deluxe Wii U to Switch port of Mario Kart 8, only with proper battle mode and stages, additional characters like the Inklings, Dual Eye items and all DLC tracks and characters found in Mario Kart 8, including characters like Link from The Legend of Zelda and marking the beginning of what could eventually evolve into a proper Nintendo Kart in a few years time. And there you have it, the top 10 Nintendo Switch games based on worldwide sales, with our take on each of them. But what do you think of the massive sales of some of the games on this list? Sound off in the comment section down below. Also be sure to leave a like and if you haven't already press that subscribe button and turn it from red to grey, the two colours of the channel and help us to towards 300,000 subscribers. Thank you so much again for 260,000 and to all of our great Patreon supporters. Anyway, that's all for now, but why not also check out one or both of these two awesome videos, especially the new lands in Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 video, which I highly recommend.